It's weather on the eights with meteorologist Matt Moore. That's a pretty good defense right there. Uh, temperatures right now across the region pretty mild for this time of the morning and for this time of the year, too. We're seeing current temperatures uh, right now sitting in the 40s for the most part 44, Carlisle and Chambersburg, low 40s, Lancaster, Lebanon, and Reading, We're sitting at 39 degrees up to around the Lewistown area. And uh, as we look at uh, satellite and radar right now, we're seeing nothing on radar, just a lot of clouds across the region at this time. The clouds, they're not going anywhere today. In fact, we've been dealing with them pretty much all weekend long, and we will continue to. See them again today until this cold front arrives. That's when we'll finally start to see some changes happening uh, in terms of our weather pattern. But that's arriving as we go into tomorrow. That'll give us a chance for a couple of showers. Until then, mostly cloudy skies. You're looking live from our Lebanon sky cam right now. Not much to see here. Latest observation coming in mostly cloudy, 41 degrees. Winds are calm right now, so we are not talking about a wind chill, at least here in Lebanon. A couple other spots, a little on the brisk side. Yeah, through the rest of today, again, mostly cloudy. What you saw through the weekend is pretty much what you'll get today, with the exception of a few breaks in those clouds south of the PA Turnpike uh, later this afternoon. Highs stay between 42 and 48 degrees, so very similar to what we saw for yesterday's highs. And heading into tonight, we drop down between 32 and 38, another milder night ahead, considering our average lows this time of year are in the upper 20s. And that'll take us into tomorrow, highs mid 40s, once again, mostly cloudy. But we'll finally start to see the cold front that will help change things around for us. That'll move through during tomorrow afternoon, bring a few showers along with it, and they'll be arriving late tomorrow morning, lasting through the afternoon, at least the shower chances, and then heading into the evening, finally start to see things quieting down. But hey, we have been really stuck in the clouds. For for a long time, and uh, we've been keeping track of it here. It's been 22 days. Today would be 23 since our last mostly sunny day. That's where uh, sky conditions are greater than 50% sunshine. And uh, we, again, the last time we had that was 22 days ago. Today will be 23, tomorrow 24, because we are expecting those mostly cloudy skies. If you've been missing the sunshine, well, there's your reason. Over three weeks without it. Uh, looking at the clouds right now, eh, pretty stuck in the clouds all the way back into the Ohio Valley, even down into portions of uh, the southeast states. We're seeing these low clouds across the region. And we'll be hanging around through the rest of today. High pressure slides off to the northeast, keeps the clouds locked in in the low level, so we're not getting rid of those until we uh, hit the later parts of this week. So we'll wait for this cold front to arrive. A couple of showers along with that. Could be some pockets of moderate showers as this cold front sweeps through tomorrow afternoon. Once it does, colder, drier air, I should say cooler, this isn't really that cold air on the backside. Uh, drier air will surge in and that will help to really clear things out for us. The sunshine heading into later parts of Wednesday combined with these breezy conditions coming from the west will help boost temperatures up a little bit warmer. But then we do start to see things cooling down once the westerly winds die off. 40 for the high as we head into around Thursday. By the time we go to Friday, about seasonal temperatures this time of the year. By next weekend, though, we are tracking the potential for our next storm system. It looks like it could be one that gives us perhaps a little bit of wintry weather. Right now, we're still working out the timing, the track of that storm. Of course, it's day six and day seven in the right. seven-day right. forecast. Right. So we're you know way out. Way out. The storm hasn't even formed yet. We want exact details right now, Matt. Well, I can't. As yeah, we know, yeah, yeah. things change on a dime <laughs> in the right. weather. Yeah. So. That's right, especially after the three-day forecast. So I would say this weekend, just keep your eyes peeled. Of course, Sunday being the first day of winter, yeah. we might have a little bit of wintry weather to talk about, but we'll, we'll keep track of it for you. All okay. right. All right, Matt, thanks. Mm -hmm.